Hello, my name is Justin Grifford. I'm the youth pastor at Mulder. Welcome back to your weekly edition of Lent in the Box. I will be reading from Romans chapter 4, verses 18 through 24. Against all hope, Abraham in hope believed and so became the father of many nations, just as it had been said to him, so shall your offspring be. Without weakening in his faith, he faced the fact that his body was good as dead since he was about a hundred years old and that Sarah's womb was also dead. Yet he did not waver through unbelief regarding the promise of God, but was strengthened in his faith and gave glory to God, being fully persuaded that God had power to do what he had promised. This is why it is credited to him as righteousness. The words it was credited to him were written not for him alone, but also for us to whom God will credit righteousness for us who believe in him who raised Jesus our Lord from the dead. The great theme of this passage is the word believe. God made a promise to Abraham and Abraham believed that he would not only have a child but he would have as many children as there are the stars in the sky. God actually brought Abraham out of his tent to have him look at the stars in the sky and said this will be your offspring. This is how many children that you will have. And it happened. And the reason it happened is because he believed. And yes, his body was as good as dead. And, and actually the word of God says that his wife's womb was as good as dead. It's not exactly the most flattering thing that you can say about a woman. The Bible made him this promise. God made him this promise. And Abraham did not waver. No matter what anyone could ever say to him, you could not convince Abraham okay, because God said it, because God made that promise. And because of Abraham's belief, God credited him, okay? God credited it to Abraham as righteousness, that Abraham could trust God at his word. And according to this passage, this doesn't just have to do with Abraham, but this has everything to do with me and you as well. And when we confess with our mouths and believe in our hearts that Jesus is Lord, that he died for our sins, that he rose from the grave, that his Holy Spirit is in us, it is counted to us as righteousness. Jesus actually gives us his righteousness. So it's not the work that we do beforehand, it's not the laws that we keep, the commands that we follow, but it's simply believing that gives us his righteousness. Believe and trust that God can do everything that he promises in his word. Amen.